The story begins in a quiet village we see our protagonist named Alka. This was dressed in a sloppy way so it was frowned upon, especially for having the job of mutilator. In a store the young man comes to sell the parts of the animals he hunted. Because of his condition the owner of the place gives him a miserable pay without even allowing him to complain. With the little money he got the young man goes to the market where a kind baker sells him the leftover bread. He tells him that maybe he should leave the job of adventurer and look for something that fits him. But the boy answers that being an adventurer is one of his dreams. Here it is explained that in this world there are monsters that threaten the lives of humans. Luckily there are people in charge of eliminating them. These are the adventurers. They fight every day in order to get a high level and valuable objects. Because in this world these things are everything. But for Alka this is something difficult to achieve because he was trapped in level 1. Being unable to overcome it because of a mysterious curse. However he had decided not to give up defeating as many monsters as possible. But every time he defeated them a message appeared saying that there was a mistake in obtaining experience. Eventually he would run out of money so he was forced to collect the leftovers of the adventurers. Earning the nickname of Mutilator. Which only brought the contempt of the people. One day while exploring a goblin cave in search of some valuable object. Alka comes across the remains of a dragon, although they had already taken all its valuable parts, leaving a stinking bag that could cost something. When opening it we see how there is a suit of armor. From it comes out a strange aura along with a voice that invites him to put it on. Seeing that it is not a very good idea Alka decides to run away but at that moment he is surrounded by some goblins. And when he is outnumbered they leave him no choice other than to use the armor of emptiness. Thanks to it he finishes easily with the bugs. After finishing with them the armor warns him that he has just gone up to level 6. The armor also tells him that whoever wears the armor will have the special ability called level drain which allows him to directly absorb the power of his enemies instead of just accumulating experience. The young man wastes no time and decides to take advantage of this ability by killing all the Globlins in the cave. At that moment one appears to him although this one was legendary, exactly of level 35. Seeing the great difference of powers the armor recommends him not to fight against him. But the goblin does not think the same and attacks ferociously to Alka. Luckily he manages to escape. Calmer he plans to eliminate the goblins of low level to defeat the legendary one. Already with 15 levels. While exploring the cave the boy finds the treasure that the goblins plundered the humans. Among the mountain of gold was a box with recovery potions that the armor keeps. When he was about to leave the place the young man hears a noise. It was a girl who was a prisoner. After releasing her, she introduces herself as Mila girl from the village Rackle. When he asks for Alka's name he quickly recognizes him as the mutilator. Because of the rumors that exist in the town. But seeing that he saved her life she does not consider him a bad person. Which makes the boy happy. While leaving the cave they meet a horde of goblins. Without hesitation Alka kills them all. Thanks to each level that rises his physical abilities increase. Reaching level 35 the young man meets the legendary goblin. Alka wastes no time and mortally wounds the goblin. Suddenly his minions appear approximately 10 bucks. Alka asks Mill to pass him some knives to finish faster with them. In this way he climbs 10 levels more, being able to face his enemy without any problem. But then he realizes that this one was equipped with an object that increased his strength. Something a little curious since these objects were only used by adventurers as a form of help. So Alka's current goal is to destroy that bracelet. With all his strength he attacks the goblin fiercely, until breaking his bracelet. With the broken object now if the power difference is noticeable. It is at that moment where Alka says goodbye to his weak part and what better than finishing with the boss. Thanks to that victory reaches level 80. A surprised mill comes out from among the rocks mentioning that now the young man is invincible. After collecting all the valuable objects of the cave, Alka decides to defeat all the goblins of the place so that they do no more damage to the villagers. Having reached level 100, both return to the village. On the way they meet Jarig one of the adventurers who always humiliated the young man for his low level. But now things have changed. Alka lifts him up by the neck telling him never to bother him again. When he is intimidated the bully runs away. But then he comes back to attack him from behind but it doesn't work. Jarig is surprised that someone of level 1 has beaten him. But then he checks Alka's statistics and gets a big surprise. Believing that the young man is some kind of monster. The bully and his group leave scared. The friends continue on their way until they reach the store we saw earlier where the owner continues to despise Alka even though he brings new armor, but things change when he sees all the valuable objects he brings with him. In the market Alka visits his friend the baker who is happy that he is doing well. The celebration is interrupted by a terrifying scream. It turns out that some werewolves were attacking the area. Quickly Alka interposes himself saying that they will not be able to pass. This pack of werewolves were level 8, although it was rare that they reached that place. It turns out that the person in charge of eliminating them was Jarig but we already know what happened to him and all his team. So now the responsibility falls on Alka, who for his level is no problem. 
While he finishes with the beasts, the villagers recognize him as the chopper who surprisingly came to save them. After finishing his work, Alka makes account of the levels he climbed. Here he realizes that a werewolf escapes him. It was about to attack a girl. Although it was far away Alka throws his sword and luckily manages to defeat it so the girl thanks him. Suddenly the young man is surrounded by all the villagers who ask to talk to him. Thinking that it was something bad he tries to retreat quickly. But in reality they only wanted to thank him for having saved them. Especially the girl. He says that his past as the chopper will not go away easily. But from now on he will be an adventurer who will protect the people. From that day he became the adventurer who saved the village. The next day Mill meets Alka who apparently is not wearing his armor. It turns out that with a snap he can make it appear and disappear. Elsewhere Jarig's team was exploring the goblin cave where they meet the dragon and a strange one-eyed entity that attacks them. To find out how they reached that place we go back a few minutes earlier. The group of adventurers were chasing a monster that ended up hiding in the goblin cave. The monster was attracted by the dead dragon so it began to eat it transforming into the thing we saw before. This does not go unnoticed by Alka who arrives to the place meeting with the wounded adventurers. Confident of his level the young man tries to fight the monster but his armor warns him that the thing is of a higher level. When he checks his stats he is surprised that it was a monster of level 200 so his attacks will be critical. To make matters worse he is about to receive one since the bug had left him paralyzed from a hit, which he barely manages to dodge. Seeing how Alka was the monster retreats, the armor mentions that he surely considered that he had eliminated him. After taking a healing potion Alka leaves the cave where he sees Jarig mortally wounded who asks him for one of his potions. But in his state it is impossible for these to have any effect. The only option he has is that Alka absorbs his levels to remove his suffering thus reaching the level 200. Meanwhile the powerful monster approaches the city, but before arriving it is reached by the young man, who is now on par with him. The battle begins with both exchanging different attacks. Despite being at the same level the monster shows that it has a little advantage. The battle continues and Alka finally manages to do some damage until the monster escapes towards the town. As soon as it reaches the place it starts to destroy everything in its path with its powerful eye beam. The young man tries to prevent the disaster from advancing but the bug ends up knocking him out and continues to do his thing until he runs into the old baker who is calm before such a huge beast waiting for his friend to arrive. Alka appears saying that he will do everything possible to win. That's why to remember the past the old man throws him the leftovers he ate when he was a chopper. More encouraged Alka continues with the battle. Alka attacks again with everything he has. But it is still difficult to hurt the monster. In the middle of the battle we see a child who was in shock to witness all this. So the Cyclops takes takes the opportunity to attack him. Of course Alka avoids him receiving all the attack. The boy takes advantage of the moment to flee leaving behind a wounded Alka about to receive another attack. After being hit by the eye beam Alka realizes that he is out of potions except for one but he was too weak to reach it. When he thought it was his end a mysterious girl appears. She gives him the potion and reveals herself as Leela a girl from the village. She tells him that she has been watching him for a while and has realized how much she wants to protect that place. Although now the best option would be to escape because if he is defeated at that moment. There will be no other person who can face the monster. The young man agrees and both escape from the monster. While they run Alka asks the girl how she knows him. She answers that it was when the werewolves attacked. From that day the girl knew that he would be the hero of the town. The moment is interrupted by the scream of a girl who was being kidnapped by bandits. They had taken advantage of the distraction of the attack to do their misdeeds. When she was about to stop them Alka sees how one of them had caught Leela. The guy threatens to do something to the girl if Alka does not do what he asked. They arrive with the bandits who provoke Alka, knowing that he cannot do anything to them because of the situation in which they are. Alka waits for the slightest opportunity to turn the matter around but Millie arrives wanting to play the heroine. Luckily this served as the distraction that the young man so much expected. From this he saves the girl and knocks out the bandit. Free concerns Alka does not hold back, and he finishes them all off, leaving last the leader of the bandits showing him that he is not an ordinary human. After finishing with his enemy the armor informs him that he has reached the maximum level of a human being. This would be the 250, the truth that Alka is too opus. Leela hugs him in gratitude for having saved her. Also tells him that he is her hero. Having reached a higher level than the Cyclops Alka is already able to face him. That's why he asks the girls to move away because the revenge is about to begin. Full of power Alka attacks his enemy, sending him flying with a single blow. He tries to counterattack by launching his eye beam. But this time the young man breaks his attack. Seeing this the Cyclops retreats but is stamped against the ground. Again he tries to use his beam but it has no effect on Alka. Desperate the monster launches a lot of attacks that are useless. Finally it is the turn of Alka that attacks him with a sword in his big eye. 
At the moment of absorbing the levels the armor informs that new functions have been unlocked as the conversion of levels. At the same time it recommends him to use this pertinently. The next day after the defeat of Cyclops, the villagers are cleaning up the mess, where the young man appears and we discover that now everyone considers him a hero. Later he asks about the new functions of the armor. It tells him that thanks to the conversion of levels the user can acquire new epic skills in exchange for their level. The armor recommends him to obtain his first ability one that allows to overcome the level limits although it costs him 240 levels. Luckily he had the other 200 of the Cyclops that he defeated. Something quite convenient, with the possibility of becoming the strongest in the world. Alka thinks about his future plans, until he is interrupted by Leela and Millie who are looking for him. The girl wastes no time and gives him a kiss as a reward for having saved the town and also confesses her love for him to later run out of shame. Even the old baker and the armor begin to bother him for that, leaving Alka blushing. Several days pass and a group of adventurers arrive to the town looking for the flaming dragon that was just in a cave in the town. In another part Alka was hunting in the most calm, since he needed more levels because he needed to spend the ones he had in new skills. These were the permanent poison that allows him to defeat small enemies with a single blow with a poison knife, and the other skill is the throwing precision that together with the previous one makes a good plus, giving him the advantage of raising levels without fighting melee although it has the disadvantage that the poison takes time to drain the levels of the monsters. Anyway, it is still profitable. While returning home he meets with the leader of the group of adventurers called Ein. He asks for Alka's help because he is looking for a dragon of 150 levels that is causing problems. That's why he came with a group of adventurers with epic skills to defeat him. When checking Alka's level he realizes that he is in level 1 because he still hasn't reached the 200 levels of the monsters he defeated. The conversation is interrupted when one of his companions tells him that they found the flaming dragon. When analyzing the matter Alka deduces that even if they are a team with decent levels there will be many casualties. That's why he asks Sign to accompany them but he is rejected because of his low level, so he has no choice but to wait to recover them. The adventurers quickly go to the cave where the dragon is, but soon they realize that it was not just any dragon but one with 300 levels, a flame destroyer. The group decides to retreat but it was too late. Here we also discover that this same dragon was the one that was dead since the beginning of the story. But there is no time to think about it because the dragon is killing everyone. Luckily Alka recovers his levels and goes to the rescue. And that's how the first part of this man ends. Well guys, if you like this video and you want a third part, comment below with the word level. Also subscribe to the channel, hit the bell and like the video. But most important, leave a comment. Until the next video.